Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So guys, uh, we are back with another video in our Need Code 150 DSA question series, right? So today's problem is add two numbers. So as you know that right now we are solving the problems from linked list, right? So today's problem is add two numbers. So we'll go through the problem statement, the logic part, right? Uh, but before proceeding ahead, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed, guys, do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem says you are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contain a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. So we are having two non-empty linked lists, right? Uh, also, uh, they are representing two non-negative means the, the values are going to be positive only. That's what they have told. The digits are stored in reverse order. Reverse order digits been stored and each node contain a single digit only. So we have to add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. For example, if here you will see, so we are having one linked list containing nodes 2, 4, 3 and one linked list containing nodes 5, 6, 4. Right. So here they have already told that uh, the digits are stored in the reverse order. Right. So in the reverse order, digits when stored. So in actual, it should be uh, like when you are doing the addition. So from where, from where uh, we are doing it from end, right that we are doing it from end that first we will do three plus four then we will do six plus four then five plus two like that but here the digits has been stored they have said that the uh, where it was where this line is that the digits are stored in reverse order right so that's why we will start we will now do the addition from the starting because the nodes are stored in reverse order so five plus two will give you seven then six plus four will give you ten so zero you will include and one you will proceed ahead for uh carry right so three plus four uh seven plus one the carry that we do have so eight so seven zero eight will be our seven zero eight will be our answer right so if you will, if you will just add them, 708 will be our answer. Okay. So now here, if you will see, so similar goes, similar thing, the similar explanation goes with this example and same for this one, right? So this is our problem statement. I hope the problem statement is clear. Now comes that how we'll be coding this up and how will be the approach to solve this particular problem. Well, you can solve this recursively as well. You can solve this iteratively as well. So in this video, we are going to solve this iteratively. So let's have a look. Okay, so uh, let's say here we are having a pointer L1 and here we are having L2, right? The head pointers of both this um, linked list we are having, right? And uh, we will obviously we are going to return a new list. So let's say um, that list is RES and initially we have just in this list, we have added this dummy node and one pointer, let's call it as current is pointing to this dummy node, right? So first as usual we do addition so how you will add this so we will maintain one variable initialize with zero carry variable right that's what we need for further when we are moving on further nodes to check if there's a carry from the previous nodes or not right so here if you will see um to uh, so we will do the addition of the values that a node is having right so here we we are having let's say sum as the value of l1 node so l1 dot well plus L2 dot well and whatever there is in carry. So right now carry is zero. So two plus five seven plus zero carry is zero. Right. So um, this is our sum, right? And from this sum, uh, obviously we see we have to keep track of the carry and the sum sum whatever sum we have got. So sum value is um, seven. For example, if here you will talking about six plus four, so here we got ten, right? So so what? is going to be part of our node zero so you can say we are taking 10 mod 10 whatever sum you have gotten now so from that you will take mod 10 so you will get the value which is going to be part of the node and if you want to check the carry so whatever sum you have got so right now we got 10 so 10 divided by 10 will give you one so one is the carry that we have to take under consideration so right now the sum is seven so seven mod 10 you will you will get seven only Right. So what we will say, okay, 
this is the value uh, let's store this sum mod 10 as a node as a node let's call as a node as a node let's call it as a new node store this sum mod 10 the value is going to be what 7 store this as a new node and now make your current point towards this new node so current will be current dot next we are making as to point this new node so what is this new node as of now 7 right and update the value of current as current ka next so current is pointing to this node now right and carry also as we are maintaining so 7 divided by 10 you will get 0 only so carry because from here there is no carry so now we will update the value of l1 and l2 right so l1 will be moving ahead and l2 will be moving ahead right uh, okay so again we will check so 6 plus 4 we got 10 so our now new node is going to be created at 10 mod 10 that is 0 right let me and this is current right so now again we will update the current test to current ka next can you be new node current dot next can you point to the new node which is nothing but 10 mod 10 which is 0 and update the current as current ka next right and carry also will be updated so what is the sum we have got we have got 10 10 divided by 10 we will get 1 right next again we will update the l1 and l2 so 3 plus 4 you are going to get 7 plus carry also we are adding so this time carry is 1 so we will get 8 so new node is going to be what now 8 mod 10 which is nothing but 8 so current ka next we are updating with new node right and current we are updating as current ka next right so now we have gone through the l1 and l2 both now there could be a possibility that there is one more element let's call it as 5 in l1 but no element in no element in l2 so in that case what we will do we can just put a simple check we will get into the loop like we will get into the loop we can just simple simple put the check if l2 is null so take the value as zero so we will consider zero so let's say when we are doing also summation also we consider okay that the value is zero so five plus zero you will get five and um, summation what you're going to get some you will get five five more ten again five you are going to get right and carry would be zero now there could be a possibility that here let's say it was 8 so 8 plus 4 is going to give you 12 right so here 12 mod 10 if you are going to do so what you will get 2 and carry would be 12 divided by 10 carry would be carry would be what carry would be 1 right so here in your node in your node in your node 2 will be there and but carry this node also has to be added no this node 1 also has to be added so so that for that also like we can see so that for that case also we have to consider like um, when we are coding it up right? so you have got the logic that how basically we are managing the nodes how we are moving the nodes and everything so let's see one uh, let's have a look on the code and see like how basically we are hand handling from the code end part right so yeah okay so this is our resultant node that we are going to return right and um, as of now we have added a dummy uh, node to it initialize with the value zero right and current is pointing to our resultant list right and carry we do have for keeping track of the carry right now we will continue in this loop till the time l1 is not null or l2 is not null or carry let's say is not zero means one carry is yet to be added that node yet to be added right so we will get into this loop so now here what we are doing so could be a possibility that l1 is zero l1 i mean l1 has been completely consumed so in that case what value we are going to consider in the summation for l1 zero could be a possibility that l2 uh, link list the link list 2 has been completely consumed so what value uh, we are going to consider in that case in the summation 0 and if that is not the case then obviously we are taking l2 dot well similarly here if l1 is not null then obviously this l1 dot well is going to be taken under consideration right and we are taking carry so the case i discussed now 8 plus 4 give, gave you 12 2 you take as the node and 1 was the carry so in in that case l1 and l2 both was null so 0 plus 0 the carry was one so one you will get as sum and then one would be added at the end right so here you can see we are creating a new node this new node is our sum value node, new node like that will contribute in our sum value so how we are calculating is sum mod 10 so for example so if this case you are talking about so 5 plus 2 will give you 7 7 mod 10 you will get 
7 only similarly 6 plus 4 10 so in the node what you have to include 0 only no 1 would be carry so that's why we are doing mod modulus operation so 10 mod 10 will give you 1 so new node will be what sorry 10 mod 10 will give you 0 so new node will be what 0 right and carry also we have to update so carry will be updated as sum mod sum divided by 10 sum divided by 10 right so now what we are saying is that current as of now that was pointing to the resultant node that is the node is zero right now we are saying ki current dot next can you point to current ka next can you be new node means the sum node that we have got right and then update the value of current as current ka next right and here see we have to move ahead also na in the linked list we have to move ahead each node we have to consider one by one so here we are moving ahead uh, and putting this check also so could be a possibility that l1 is still left but l2 is null so if for a null you will do next let's say l1 is null and i'm saying l1 equal to l1 dot next so i i will get a null pointer exception no so that's what we are checking here if l1 not equal to null then you have to move to l1 dot next then you have to move to the next of l1 otherwise you have to just simply take value none similarly here also we are putting this check right and at the end we are returning resultant dot next now why so because uh, the initial node that we added was a dummy data and that we added by ourselves right so post that is our actual result right so yeah this was the today's problem and the logic and the code for the same i hope you were able to understand right so see linked list problem are not that difficult once you got that thing now how you have to move the nodes and all those things so you will be able to solve linked list problem and there are pretty much sort of few problems which are repeatedly asked in the interviews so this is one of them so i hope that this video helped you thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye